welcome back to my channel guys today i'm going to show you guys how to make this quick and easy creamy mushroom sauce if you are new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a single recipe from me all the measurements to the sauce will be available in the description box below so to begin with i'm going to be using some button mushrooms you can chop them in whatever shape you like i just prefer mine finely chopped so i'm going to be chopping about a two cups worth of mushrooms and then once we're done we're then going to move over to our pan i would recommend that at this stage you get all your ingredients um close by to you and also your utensils or the tools that you'll be using so right now i'm just melting some butter it's unsalted butter into a pan you're also welcome to use salted butter i will advise you on how to proceed with the ingredients once the butter is melted i'm then going to be adding the mushrooms into the butter we're going to then saute and make sure that we cook through our mushrooms what is important here is when you're making the mushroom sauce the mushroom is the base um, of the sauce so you need to make sure that you season it fully and completely so right now i'm just going to allow that to cook through for about 10 minutes and while it's doing that i'm adding some salt if you're using salted butter i would then recommend that you taste your mushrooms at the end and then you can add your salt seasoning and then we're going to be adding some black pepper now with the salt and black pepper it's honestly to your preference so i can't really dictate how much you should add but i was really generous with the black pepper again we're just going to saute that um, within the 10 minute span just until our mushrooms are nicely cooked through on all sides sides So after about 10 minutes you'll also notice that your mushrooms tend to shrink in size from what they were when you originally added them and the reason why i prefer to use um these mushrooms with the darker skin is also just how they will be looking um in our sauce unlike the white button mushrooms so that is what it's looking like right now after 10 minutes i'm then going to place this aside and then i'm going to proceed to use the same pan to make the white sauce again i'm using my unsalted butter you also welcome come to use salted butter just going to be melting that in my pot then to that i'm going to be adding cake flour it's very important for you to make sure you add cake flour and then i'm going to give that a mix make sure that all your flour is covered in your butter And like I said before, you need to make sure that you have all your ingredients on hand because from here on out, you need to be hands on with your stove. So um, once you've covered all your flour within the butter, you're then going to proceed to add your cream. So the cream that I'm using is the um, pulsterized cream, I believe is what they say. I started off by adding the first cup of cream and then I'm going to be whisking that um, just until all my butter is nicely dissolved into the um, cream. And you'll notice that as you continue to mix, at this point I also need to add, you need to be at a low medium heat but as you continue to mix you'll start to notice that your cream thickens up and then i'm going to add the second cup of cream and then i'm going to give that a mix all over again at this point i'm also going to proceed to season my white sauce you need to make sure that your sauce is also well seasoned although the base of our sauce is seasoned which is the mushroom so at this point i'm just going to be adding a little bit of salt again if you are using um salted butter don't use any salt at this point you need to first taste your sauce when you're done and then again i'm going to go in with some black pepper then i'm going to give that a mix just so i can evenly distribute everything at this point you can also see the thickness of your sauce it's very important to note that if you're not going to be serving your sauce immediately you need to try and store it at a at a thinner consistency if i can put it that way so at this point i'm then going to add my mushrooms i'm going to mix them all around just to make sure that they are evenly distributed into the white sauce that i've made what i love about this mushroom sauce is you can also make it a base for a pasta dish if you are making a mushroom um creamy mushroom based sauce so at this point i added a little bit of milk which is a tip that i can give you just to loosen your cream if you're 
if you find that your sauce is too thick so this is the thickness of my um, sauce and I already know that because I'm not going to be serving it immediately it's still going to thicken a little bit further so I did add a little bit more milk just to loosen it a little bit more and that is it you're going to allow it to simmer for another 10 minutes just to cook through your flour and you're done it's a quick and easy recipe it serves well with steaks with chicken with fish whatever it is that you'd love to do and I also said that you can use it as a base for a pasta sauce it's a quick and easy recipe if you are new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a single recipe from me do let me know in the comment section what you would serve this creamy sauce with and I will see you guys next time bye